Uh, so Pablo is asking about Google Cache. Um, he says, how to clear Google Cache. I have an old GMB that was used for two types of services. Now when I'm doing a search, Google shows my GMB for old keywords. Need your advice on how to clear keywords that Google's associate with the GMB listing. Thanks a million. That's a really good question. Um, I don't know how to force Google to clear cache other than to have it recrawled. And, and again, even, even if they recrawl, it doesn't mean that they're going to refresh the uh, index essentially. I've experienced that with YouTube video, believe it or not, like had a YouTube video that I was, did a live stream, like a, a live, like it was, it was a pre-recorded video, but I was streaming it. Um, and when I went to go set up the stream, it just used like the generic term or whatever that w was in there. And it, for whatever reason, it indexed with that term, even though I had edited it and my video stayed ranked for like this generic, like it was, it was like, it was weird. The, uh, I, I, I can't even explain it. Like the title tag never updated, even though like, and it was weeks before Google finally updated the title tag and the search results from like whatever the, you know, my live stream or whatever it said to the actual keyword that the, the title was that I had updated within minutes of Google indexing that, that, that original stream. So I don't know how to force that. That's a really good question. Margaret, do you know how to force that? No. Google will take its sweet old time and get to it. Um, the only thing I could mention would be, you know, you can't use the um, request indexing function inside a search console right now. Um, so if it's a GMB and it doesn't have like its own website associated with it, then I don't, you know, you, search console is kind of useless for that anyways, but you could try to resubmit through search console. Although, like I said, requesting indexing is, is turned off right now. I talked about this last week. But let me just show you very quickly. If you do have a self-hosted website, this is something that you can do. Um, it's called the uh, instant indexing plugin and it's by rank math. Um, instant indexing plugin right here. If you go and install this on a WordPress site, it, uh, let's see, where's the, that's fine. Whatever. You can download this for free. Um, and you connect it to the Google indexing API. So you have to go into developers.google.com uh, and set up the indexing API. They've got help files. It's real easy. It takes about 10 minutes to set it up. And then you can submit through a WordPress site uh, there's a, you know, uh, you can submit URLs directly to search console. So, you know, that's, that's what I'm using right now, since the request indexing feature has been turned off inside of, um, uh, search console for now. So I've got this installed on multiple sites right now. And, um, so it's great because if it's, if you're updating a page or a post or a media file, you can, you can, you can change the options, but if you're updating a page or a post or publishing it for the first time, it will instantly submit it to the Google indexing API. Um, and you can also, there's a, in the, in the uh, instant indexing plugin settings, there's a, a tab where there's a, a box that you can submit URLs directly to the indexer there. You can also like, you know, call it to see what the indexing status is and stuff like that. So again, very, very cool. It's free rank math in, uh, instant indexing plugin. Check it out.